I have never shot anyone out of an excavator bucket. That is until today. Welcome to Swamp Sniper, and if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. Now let's do this. Swamp Sniper here. I have to stop the virus. I have to stop them from spreading it. These are all bad guys. If you want an explanation as to why, I won't give it. Nash, they're coming, get out of here. They just got swamped. Now, you may know me as the owner of Balahack Airsoft Field and for my massive post-apocalyptic events I put on. Perhaps it's my zombie event. Or my Wild West Airsoft event. But I don't just take you on adventures with me, I also review guns. Like this one that just came out a week ago, the Novich SSG-10. And what's better than one gun? Two guns. Novich has released the SSG-10A1 and the SSG-10A2. They both have the same internals. Both rifles come with a nice gun case. The only real difference is their bodies and the bolt handle. The A2 is essentially a Macmillan TAC 338, and I love the feel of it. The A1 is essentially just an M700. Both of these rifles are 100% VSR-10 compatible. I haven't yet decided which bolt handle I like better, but I absolutely love their triggers. I love the 28 round capacity magazines, one because you can easily empty them like this, something you couldn't do with an SSG24 mag, and of course they're clear so that you can see when you're getting low on ammo. The hop-ups have a 20 click adjustment, which is double the amount that were available on the SSG24. The adjustment is incredibly low profile so that you don't accidentally snag it on something and change your hop. And in case you didn't know, these beautiful front rubber grips come off to reveal an M-Lock rail system. These guns can handle up to an M220 or five joules, which is incredible, but not as incredible as the warranty they're offering, which is 25 year parts warranty from any regular use if a part breaks, they replace it for free, but the customer must pay for shipping. But perhaps the most game-changing thing about these rifles is the price. Now the A2 is more expensive, it goes for $500 because it has that fancy stock, but the A1 is only $299 US dollars. But enough about specs and all that, let's see how she performs in gameplay. Swamp Sniper here, using the SSG 10A2 for the first time, see how it works. Hopefully this thing is good and worth it. My opinion already is that it is from having shot it. And uh, see how it goes in gameplay. All right, mate. I could barely see a figure, so I didn't realize I just shot a marshal in the face. It felt so bad. Hi, baby. Yes, you're hit. Raise thine hand. He's wondering where it came from. 
Oh, I'm so, oh God. Yeah, this this thing's pretty, uh, is that the pretty sexy. Yeah, but they have the same internals. So I might as well be shooting the other one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same gun, just different stock. Oh, this is gonna be a shot right here. That one tree. Yep. They're not the same gun though, because this has the 2.2 joule spring and I have a 2.8 joule spring in my A1. Headshot. Are you calling it? Thank you. Good call. Yeah, this thing's a laser. It's a laser gun. It's a good blaster. Oh, another one. Boop. I'm crossing. Ryan, I know you think I'm shooting through a small crack, but I'm not. Because I can fit my head through that. Play a lot of what? Oh, good call, Ryan. I wish I got to see that hit. This is the way. So this is a unique and frustrating situation. This is a chaos game, so you can kill, heal, and absorb people from other teams. I spot a sniper spotter team moving. I can't afford to miss. I try to cover up my pasty face and I really wish I was wearing gloves right now. I'm gonna go for the sniper first, because he has range like I do. I hit a twig. Oh, come on. And now my scope camera died. I see a tiny sliver of him. I didn't see where the other guy went, so I decided to double back and keep distance on my side. He only has an AEG, so the farther I am, the better it is for me. And I spot him. I go out to heal the one I shot, and some random dude comes running by. That worked out pretty well. And now Nash. Guys, this is Nash. What are you doing? What's this? That's Christopher. What's that thing? This is a GoPro. Dude, are you why today? why is Nash using a GoPro? YouTube channel. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, am I allowed to say that you're gonna do it? I mean, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. Okay. But anyway. I mean, I'm gonna do it. Nash might gonna do it. I'm gonna try really hard to do it. Make a YouTube channel. Mike gonna finna do it. Subscribe to me, Subscribe to me. if you want to see his YouTube channel. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? I'm gonna flank these dudes with my SSG 10, baby. Baby, baby. Bam. Good call. Good call. Good call. 
This thing's a laser. It's a star weapon. That was a hit. Boop. You can see, even only operating at two-thirds the power my field allows, this thing still puts out. Gotcha. Always in my backpack! <laughs> Woo! Good call. All right, so I had a blast playing with it, even though it's almost a joule lower than the limit. Let's test the A1 that's just above my limit. This has a 160 spring in it, and I'm using four sixes. I'm supposed to be at 2.8 joules, but I'm slightly over. That's why I couldn't use it in gameplay. We're gonna test it first at 100 yards in the downpouring rain, and it's slightly windy. I also have no scope on this thing. Keep that in mind. This one literally goes over that wall. It's 119 yards right there. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. How many meters is 119 yards? 119 yards is 108.81 meters. I don't know what you think, but to me that's extremely impressive. Now what if I had to take out a man-sized target first shot? That's without a scope, not even looking straight over the board. That's just looking sideways. Turn the hop up down a little bit. One hundred yards. Return to its previous hop up position.
last one went clean over the top. It's wicked. And that gun retails for $299. This is not the time to have camera problems. How do I get out of this? It's so slippery and curvy. So there you have it, guys. That's my initial impression of the SSG 10, A2, and A1. I think that if I just leave the spring compressed on the A1, it will become field legal and drop that like 20 FPS it needs to. I've done that in the past with SSG springs that shot a little too hot. I'll let you guys know on Instagram or what have you if that works out. Thanks for watching my initial impression and review of the SSG 10. I genuinely like it. I think it's very good, but really the price point. This is gonna challenge any company that wants to make a bolt action sniper rifle to make a really good one at an affordable price. So good job, Novridge team, on building this. If you wanna get your own SSG 10, check out the link below. And let me say one thing that I believe is very important. A lot of people have different feelings towards Novridge, towards you know his success and size and attitude and all that kind of stuff. Please watch his keynote that he did. Uh, put it out about a week ago. It is very impressive. It goes over the new guns that he's bringing out, including his AEG. I'm not getting paid to do this video or anything like that. It's just very good and I'm excited about it for the industry. So watch his keynote. In fact, I'll put a link below for that. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you wanna check out my airsoft field and our awesome events, link down below to Balahack Airsoft Field. And as always, oh wait, 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 wait. I broke 300,000 subscribers because of you guys. Thank you so very much and I think I should do a giveaway. I want you to write below what gun you would like me to give away and in my next video, I might just give it away. Whatever you guys do in life, stay safe, enjoy it, be creative, be young and alive, and peace. Wait for it. Wait for it.